Hey, this is Jimmy, and I just wanted to give a shout out to all my conservative friends who are cheering Donald Trump increase in spending over the military budget, as if $600 billion annually wasn't enough to be the number one superpower in all the world um, with the military. Um, he has to go add another 10% to that annual budget, which equals over 60% of our annual uh, spending that the president has the power to modify of, the, of about a budget of a little over a trillion dollars in discretionary spending. So our president is increasing spending. There is nothing conservative about that. Yeah, we may all cheer that he's, you know, reducing the amount spent on the EPA and, and we're like, yay, look, he's saving money. But no, this is no uh, budget reduction. This is only going to talk about um, a budget increase at the end of the day, and it's going to re result in a further annual budget deficit. Oh, yeah, our annual budget deficit as a nation, about $400 billion. So if you were looking to have a balanced budget this year, conservatives, guess where you have about $600 billion? that you could maybe trim a little fat from. Um, and I think it's utmost of conservative hypocrisy, utmost conservative hypocrisy, when we talk about having a small, responsible fiscal government, yet we're crazy drunk when it comes to spending on the military. And there's simply no reason for it at all whatsoever. So if you truly want to be uh, philosophically conservative and fiscally conservative um, when it comes to budgetary manners. Um, the, the, the place to start trimming the fat is not the EPA. The place to start trimming the most fat is for the military. This is Jimmy Humphrey. I just thought I'd point something out and give you a little truth, if you can handle it. Have a good day.